We are here on IBC 2015 on the Black Magic booth and we're going to check out the new Ursa Mini. Hi. Hi. Hey. So welcome. This is uh, the new Ursa Mini. And the Ursa okay. Mini is available in uh, two mounts, the EF mount and the PL mount, okay. as well as two sensors, 4, 4K sensor and a 4.6K sensor. So what we have here today is also a new upgrade that we announced this week, which is to be able to mount uh, a B4 lens, so okay. we have a B4 adapter for the PL mount for both the 4K and 4.6K. And this is uh, so you can put on uh, the ENG style lenses. Okay. So yeah, we're able to use this and we can use it in uh, studio as well as out in the field because we put in um, a new, um, uh, we rearranged the uh, inputs and outputs. So now we have a SDI in so you can control through the ATEM switchers. Okay. So yeah, so, and it has a five inch flip out screen. Uh, this is uh, an optional uh, viewfinder that we are also now shipping, okay. and it has a uh, shoulder mount kit that you can buy, so it can go right off of the uh, of the Sony plate right onto your shoulder in the back end, yeah. and it has an arm that you can use to uh, have the start-stop uh, handle, and it has another grip handle that comes with that, and you can buy a um, uh, the the Sony the plate for uh, the battery plate. You okay. know there are options there, so. It, the the, uh, the whole design is to be running gun and, and you can use, you know, one person goes out and shoots and now that we have the, the, the B4 mount option too, mm -hmm. you could shoot with a cinema lenses and then change it to do uh, a television work. So it yeah. works both ways. Uh, is it uh, only battery option for the camera or is there a, a, a Blackmagic battery inside? Uh, no Blackmagic battery inside, but there is a power supply that you can use to run the run it without a battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, storage on what media? Right. So we record on the CFAST 2 cards. Okay. CFAST 2.0 cards, and uh, you're able to uh, low, you know, record on one, and then it continues to record on the second, so you can hot swap. Okay, can you also do mirror recording, so it writes to both cards? Uh, it, we don't do that yet, but that has been uh, suggested, and uh, you never know. Yeah, with, with, with Blackmagic, <laughs> with all the updates, uh, it's updates are new features. You never know, right. So yeah, and um, the, as they say, it comes in a 4, 4K and a 4.6K. The 4K versions are starting to ship now, okay. and then the uh, 4.6Ks will be a little later. Okay. And then the B4 mount option will be available in um, in November. Okay, it looks like a very complete package. And what are the audio options on the camera? Right, so uh, we do have a, a built-in microphone that's okay. very good, but also uh, you can put uh, XLR two, two, ba two uh, inputs up top. Okay, with phantom power. Uh, yes, we can do up to 60p in the, uh, in the uh, Ursa, so at, at 4K and okay. 120 uh, in uh, HD. In what formats uh, does this camera shoot? Right, so we can shoot RAW, compressed RAW, and a variety of ProRes codecs, uh, okay. including XQ and, and all the way down to ProRes Proxy and HD. And uh, you can get all these settings through our, our touch screen here, so I can uh, select what I'm gonna shoot, you know, the, the uh, white balance, uh, and I can, um, I can also, you know, do my audio uh, menu for for selecting what inputs I'm recording, and then here I can select uh, what size, whether I'm doing HD or I'm doing you know uh, UHD, and then I can select you know ProRes 444, uh, HQ, you know. So we have a lot of the ProRes, different ProReses, and we can get all the way up to RAW. Um, where is it? There we go. The 4K yeah. 411 and regular RAW. And uh, you know, change the frame rates here, and then you can change the frame rate for the sensor, as opposed to the project. So if you shoot, if you have a 24-frame project, but you shoot 60 frames, when you go to play back, it'll play back the slow motion. Okay. Because it knows that the project is 24, but you shot it on the sensor at 60. So that's a good good feature, to new feature that we've been implementing. Uh, they have dual. Dual card mode is either on or off. So, the, oh yeah, there's your redundancy. It is in there. Uh, this is the newest software that has not shipped yet, but okay. will. So it's new for the show. Nice and, feature. Yeah, yeah. And then time lapse, and then of course on the monitor, you can um, set uh, whether you're going to look at it, um, whether the you have frame guides, and, uh, and and whether you're going to look at it in video or film mode. Okay. And then when you um, when you come out of the menu, you can uh, you can talk, you can look at the focus peaking. This is a beta software. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's why they're not there we shipping go. it yet. Yeah, right, exactly. So then, um, you know, I have, uh, uh, you know, iris control so I can control the iris. It depends on the lens if you have that uh -huh. and for focus and peaking. And then if I, um, if I double tap, it'll zoom in, okay. you know, to check focus. Very, very quick way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that way uh, it's easy to um, check your focus and you can back out. So, uh, yeah, and it uh, it moves around as needed. Okay. And um, obviously you can close it, get out of the way if you're using the uh, the optional viewfinder. What's the price of the Blackmagic Ursa Mini? Right, so the Ursa Mini start at uh, $3,000 for the EF uh, for uh, 4K. Yeah. And then it would be 3,500 for the PL version. Okay. And then it is um, 5,000 for the um, 4.6K EF, and 5,500 for the 4.6K uh, PL. Okay. And then the option for the um, B4 mount is $295. That'll be shipping in November. And then the the uh, kit that we have for the shoulder mount kit is um, two hundred ninety five dollars. Okay. And uh, and those are those will be available at the time of shipping. And the viewfinder? The viewfinder is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. And uh, the before uh, kit uh, uh, does it work on EF and PL? No, only on the PL. Okay. So if you want the before, you must have the PL first. Correct. So for more information, then go to blackmagicdesign.com. So that was uh, Black Magic Boot on IBC. 2015. Thanks for watching.